and wonders. Absolute grace. Complete freedom. A place of no condemnation. Zoe Ministries. Where we dare to believe. God says, now as you, you die, you'll die with him, but in water. You don't want to be crucified like him. He says, no, let's do it through the water. Much better. And it's nice and cozy. You see, and also in that, nobody can judge you again. A new moon, Sabbath, can read that, it says. Christians, they want to keep every specific day. You can't eat this. You can't eat that. You must eat this. No, you're free. These are the, these are the sons of God that's led by the Spirit of God. You're led now by the Spirit of God. You know between right and wrong. You don't have to keep the law. You have the law within your heart. You know already, I, I must not steal. Holy Spirit said, don't take this. Holy Spirit said, no, forgive. That's what it is. Then again, Romans 6, from verse 1 to 11. I'm going to be quick. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Of course, we can't keep on sinning. Let's be real. Certainly not. How then shall we die to sin live any longer in it? Or do you not know that as many of us were baptized into Christ, were baptized into His death? In other words, He died for us, no longer I that liveth, but Christ lives inside of me. This life now, you live by faith in the Son of God, of the Son of faith of the Son of God difference verse 4 therefore we were buried with him through baptism into death uh, that just as christ was raised from the dead by this glory of the father even so you also should walk in newness of life that shows you for if we were have been united together in likeness of his death then we should also be likeness of his resurrection in other words dead just like jesus that's what he says dead just like jesus that's what people hate it when I preach, you are like God. He said it, read it. Death, just like Jesus. His likeness. You're made in His likeness and His image. Bible, not me. Then he says here, verse 7, For he who has died has been freed from sin. So this is really says, you're not free from sin. When you're doing baptism, it means you are free from sin. Sin does not have any hold over you anymore. You see, knowing that Christ had been raised from the dead, dies no more. Death no longer has dominion over him. So death has no dominion over you. So people hate it when I preach immortality. You don't have to die. You can live. Jesus said that. Hello? Likewise, you also reckon yourself to be dead indeed to sin, but alive to God and Christ our Lord. Read it. There's so much stuff I can preach on that. If you want to die, I can't do it. No problem. I want to live. What, uh, <coughs> amplified. 1 Peter 3.21. This is actually very beautiful. I love the Amplified in this. Um, 1 Peter 3.21. It's actually very beautiful. It actually gives us a bit more depth concerning baptism. 1 Peter 3, 21 says, And baptism, which is a figure of their deliverance, does, not, does now also save you from inward questionings and fears. Not by the removing of an outward body filth bathing, but by providing you with the answer of a good and clear conscience, inward cleanness of peace before God. Because you are demonstrating what you believe to be yours through the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Man, that's awesome. Get the Amplified. 1 Peter 3, 21. It actually helps you with inward questions, fears. Am I saved? Am I not saved? Am I sin have dominion? Does sin have dominion? You know, you know, where am I standing with God? It says, no. Shh. Boom. Gone. And you're chill. It helps us so much with that. You see, also signifying the new birth, John 19, 34, you know, talks about, you know, when I pierced him, the, the blood and the water came out. When woman gives birth, it's blood and water, isn't it? Signifying new birth. That's what it is. It means you are new birth, okay? A new birth. Also then, Romans 5, from verse 1, I'm going quickly through it. Verse 
on. It says, says, now now you have peace with the Father through our Lord Jesus Christ. You have peace. It gives you peace. It gives you peace. It gives you peace. It gives you peace. I was baptized when I was 16 years old. But I was baptized out of fear. They said, if you don't get baptized, you're not going to go to heaven. Oh man, I got baptized. <laughs> Very quickly. Because <laughs> they didn't teach me, you know, it's always fear. Always sin conscious. Always devil freaking conscious. Huh? Never life, abundance, God loves you. No, you're never good enough, God's going to get you. See, between God and the devil, you don't know which one is worse. If you don't do this, you're going to get punished. It doesn't work. If I don't do this, I'm not going to make heaven. So that's why I got baptized. But it was out of fear, not out of love or understanding. Then it says, Hebrews 10, 19 to 23. And then I'm finished. Therefore, brethren, having boldness to enter the Holy of Holies by the blood of Jesus Christ, or Jesus, by a new and living way, which He consecrated for us through the veil, that is His flesh. And having a high priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without weighing, for he who promises is faithful. So that wipes out all this inward questionings. Am I good enough? Am I not good enough? Why does God see me? You know, all this junk. Baptism helps. Wash it with pure water. The word wash it with pure water. All this stuff, man. You know, some people that such encounter with God, when they get baptized, some of them had uh, tattoos that was demonic, and then again it came out, it actually be, it's actually removed. Is all tattoos demonic? No, it's not. It's just a tattoo. <laughs> That's all it is. If you have no condemnation, put a tattoo man on your forehead, left head, on your earlobes, whatever. Just go for it. Relax. Because people also say, mark of the beast. No, it's called, the, it's also a mark of God. Have you ever heard anybody teach on that? If there's no condemnation, go and get yourself tattooed from year to year if you want to. It's no issue. But there's many things. People had demonic stuff, encounter, had the demonic like witchcraft and things like that, put the tattoos on, and that actually was bondage upon them. And that's what happens to Chup came out and it actually disappeared. Okay, it actually disappeared. So there's a powerful thing in baptism, people. So what is it now signifying? What is doing it? <coughs> like Jesus crucified openly. You now also the same thing. You're openly declaring what God is doing inside. You're opening declaring, you know what, Jesus, you are my Lord, you are my God. You're opening declaring to principalities. He mark you devil ongelukkig. <laughs> Lekker. And that actually diminishes power even more in your life. Because he has no power, but he deceives people that he has power. But now you're opening, you're opening, actually make them a public shame again. And now you're saying to people here naturally, you know what, God is my God. He is my king. He is my Lord. And it's a public thing. In the open to all of us. Amen. 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 Who's all going to be baptized? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yay! Seven. Can I see seven? 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 seven eight? Eight? Seven? Seven? Colin's going to get baptized. But he first had to do the camera. Then he's going to get baptized. Can I see eight? Where's number eight? Where's eight? Where's eight? Any eights? Any eights? Any eights? Oh, nobody. Amen. So we're going to get baptized people. There's people that here are going to be baptized. You feel a bit... Do you feel some stirring in there? You feel a bit nervous for service, you know? You know? You feel that? That's good. You have a bit of a nervous thing in you. You have a bit of a thing in you. That's a good thing to have. Because this is a spiritual, powerful thing. Okay? So people, again, I ask guys, please... We can have, we, when a person gets baptized, you can shout, scream, or whatever, but also respect the next person coming in, okay? So there's a thing to be joyful, but also to be respectful for the person. If you have a word for this person, you know, give them the good word, okay? Not something that pushes them down. Always a word of exhortation, a good prophetic word, or even given a scripture. So you have that in your heart, amen. 
And what's going to happen, I'm going to pray for all these people. So guys, guys can get dressed. You're going to have some coffee quickly. And then we're going to go set up some cameras and stuff. And then uh, go and get dressed and we'll, we'll sort you out. Just give a couple of minutes, okay? Hey, guys, let's stand and worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Woohoo! Amen. Good morning, everybody. Are you all ready? I see the King of Glory coming on the clouds with fire. The whole earth shakes. The whole earth shakes. I see His love and mercy washing over all our sin.
oh, see how great, how great is our God. Hi, my name is Pastor Johan Mankies from Zoe Ministries, South Africa, here in Rudderport. I just want to say thank you for, for watching this message. And I really pray that God has touched you, He has encouraged you, He has uplifted you in Jesus' name. Also, I want to say to you, if you've never made Jesus your Lord, it is very simple. All that you say is, Lord Jesus, come into my heart and I believe and confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. Very simple. Then you are saved. If you want more information about myself and about our ministry, please do not hesitate to visit our website and see what we're all about and what we have to offer. So I just want to say bless you again and thank you again for watching this awesome message. Amen. Bless you.